What is going on you guys? My name is Slime Fan. Welcome back to another craft core video. Thanks for checking this video out, you guys. I know it's been a little while since I posted some craft core, but I kinda have a reason for it, okay? And now bear with me on this, okay? So um I kinda stopped doing craft core right around when um I guess when, when school had ended for me and uh ever since then I kinda been thinking about, you know, continuing on it, but there's just a lot of other things in the way. But right now it seems like all that stuff is starting to kind of dumb down. So I'm actually pretty happy because now I can, you know, start posting some more craft core. I know Megaton has been posting a little bit of it, um, not not very consistently though. So you know, kudos to him. But uh, I I kind of want to continue recording it, you guys, and the reason for that is because there is new stuff that is starting to add onto the server, and I'm actually pretty <laughs> pretty happy about it because it's stuff that I think will extend the I guess the popularity of craft core a little bit, and now I'm also kind of make it more fun to play you know so you don't have to always be dungeon raiding and stuff like that so one of the things i'm adding is we're making a new city and by we i mean me i'm making a giant giant city and it's south of this um south of craft core craft core is the, the main city but there will be other cities and the the purpose for them is basically they'll be selling different things and um uh, like um different maybe not weapons and armor because that'll be mainly to craft core just because i want it to be like the main i guess battle city or whatever but anyways you guys uh yeah that's something that i've been working on for a little bit so that is going to be a continuing project that i'm going to be working on and also i am making a new uh, mini games area so that'll it'll probably be in the cities and stuff that's where you'll have to go and play them i think that way you can have kind of a, a reason to visit each one but in craft court it's going to be an archery little i guess a bow training exercise thing and every time you hit something it'll give you points i think i had it in craft course season two uh but anyways yeah that's stuff that i'm working on uh but today what I want to do is I want to try to um, uh, maybe build up some some money a little bit. So we're going to have to go out there and start chopping down some trees probably. And uh, the reason I want to build it up is because I want to buy myself some maybe some property. Ah, crap. But this property is very expensive. I don't know. I think like these are 2 million and this one's 25. That one's like another million. Something crazy like that. But I want to uh, kind of have a place inside of craft core. And I don't want to do it just unlegitly. You know, I want to be able to actually buy them and use them and stuff so yeah we're gonna go ahead and try to do that um for for today anyways so let's go at <clears throat> something i should try actually let's go to the mine let's see slash mvtp i wish there was an easier way to do this but there isn't world oh my god i i, I suck at spelling right now i don't know why but let's do this haha <laughs> very fantastic let's just wait for this to load and here we go um also there's other things i don't know if these were added on later on or not i don't know if i ever showed these off but there is a new um i guess these bows and stuff so there's an elytra that's unbreakable that i'll probably be buying but it's 350 xp which is why in a uh, craft core i decided to leave the um the um, uh, keep inventory on because it leaves you with your xp when you before you when you die and stuff so that's that's a thing also there's a icarus bow that's an unbreakable bow and it makes you faster at running there's a miner's pickaxe. It has, I think, uh, efficiency 10 or something crazy. And then the unbreakable shield, which is also very lovely, but I'll probably never buy. Uh, but anyways, let's go to the quarry here real quick, and let's go and see if we can mine a few of these um, cobblestones and stuff, because these, these are actually going to be really important. You can sell all this stuff, which is actually very lovely. Uh, the only thing I think you can't sell is the coal, but I'm not too sure. Let me check it out. Let me see. So you got the obsidian cobblestone stone and coal. oh you can sell coal very nice okay cool and then this mindset uh resets after five minutes i believe so let's just get to mining okay and uh it kind of gives me time also to talk about my other stuff you guys i'm also working on a, a map too so uh i know it seems like it's a lot of projects all at once but like i said school right now there, there's no school for me so uh time is kind of uh unlimited in a way like i can only, i could do as much as i want with you know the time that i have so it's very nice i i always look forward to the uh to not school time you know it's always very cool to not be able to have to go to school and stuff like that and look at that the mine is about to reset how fantastic so it makes it pretty cool i was I, um i was also thinking of making some better mines but i don't know if there's a way to do the um uh what do you call it by maybe by uh rank i think there is but i'm not too sure uh, but anyways this map i'm working on it's been i've been working on it for a long long time i think i was telling uh, a long time ago i was sending unlikely waffle about it i was telling him that oh well you know i have this map that i'm working on but i'm i'm very boring i'm very bad at making the i guess the completion of it you know and he was like oh well i'm the opposite i know my story and stuff and i know what to do and i'm like oh well that's fantastic for you man because i'm not <laughs> i'm so I'm, I'm bad at them i'm really bad at them 
Uh, but let's see. Let I just the the reason I'm checking this out too is I want to see how much time it takes to make how much money. So if it takes me I don't know an hour to make ten thousand bucks, then that's probably not a very uh, efficient way to do it. Uh, but we'll we'll have to wait and see. Um, I guess on all of this. Also, it would probably be a lot. Oh, oh the mines ever reset? Fine, finally, uh, funny. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to say there, but. I want to see the more efficient way of doing stuff. I know for a lot of people it would probably be easier with a more efficient pickaxe, you know, like one that has efficiency five or whatever. Um, but for me, I don't have that right now, so I just got to do what I have, you know. <laughs> so that's going to have to wait a little bit. But let's see. Let's let's just keep going and see how much I can get out of here. Uh, let's see. Let's get all this crap and let's see. Uh, I'm going to maybe make a stack of, uh, two stacks of cobblestone and sell that. I know if you, if you smelt them, you can use the the smelted metal or, or the smelted stone to sell it for more uh, more pricier price so i have an idea as well on that so we'll have to wait and see all this i think is by time it's all time based how much you can mine in a minute as opposed to you know how much it'll sell for that that kind of efficiency but i don't know when i was making these these made a lot of sense to me so you know that's gonna have to and that's basically what's happening right now let's see let's grab all this one two Three and four. Perfect. Let's go and sell it now. Wow. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay, so <clears throat> let's see. Cobblestone sells for two. Stone sells for one and a half more. And then coal sells for a dollar fifty. So <clears throat> maybe what I should do is Ah, that's a good question. Okay. But if I use this, toss that in there for a second. And let's see. Let's try selling our cobblestone. Let's see how much we get out of it. Uh, so that's basically a hundred and a hundred and eight dollars actually a hundred and twenty eight if I actually do my math correctly so you know what sixty four times five is definitely way more so do you know what we're gonna do let's go up here into one of these uh these uh smelting rooms and let's use one so let's jump in here and since there uh, basically this I made so that you know you can kind of jump in here and smelt your materials uh, but you're supposed to stay in here until it's completely you know used up and stuff but um for the meantime i'm just gonna go and leave it in there just leave it kind of cooking up and stuff oh why didn't it work thank you and there we go let's just leave it up there it's melting away and let's keep getting some some coal and stuff so we can mine some more and <clears throat> put all our I'll put all our stone to to cook up and stuff obviously later on in time this will be a lot harder because there will be more and more people so you'll have to kind of stay in your smelting area and whatnot you have to stay up there in your smelting room, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. But in the for right now, it's a lot easier because I'm the only one on here. So that's, you know, that's that. And let's see. Let's get all this coal. I think 16 will burn through um, a stack. So let's go ahead and toss this stack up in there. And also, my, uh, my, doesn't help that my little thingy is breaking my, uh, um, what do you call it? My pickaxe is breaking. So that's, that's, that's always a lot of fun. But let's let this thing load. And also, um, all this stuff in here you can use, but you can't break. So you can't break that. You can't break any of this. I can obviously because I'm, I'm admin and stuff. So yeah. But anyways, it's the only six yet. Dang! What the heck? That they would melt it a lot faster than what it did. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, let's see. Stone sold. How much did we get out of that? So we got twelve oh two. And I hate how the balance says it with ten million decimals or whatever past the past the decimal. I don't know. It's it's, it's a little crazy. But I basically got twelve hundred and two bucks right now and 81 cents but um i guess i'm gonna have to wait for a little bit and let that go on uh, but anyways while we're doing that though also what we can do is let's go and check out this uh the shop see what we can sell and buy over there too because i know there's different things that you can buy like uh, a lot of the stuff that's over here in the shops is more cosmetic to begin with so um if you like at the stone shop you can sell your stones over here but um a lot of the times it's just more for buying so a lot of these cost around the same, except the mossy cobble cost twenty, and then the that cost twenty five, and um, the mossy stone does too. But you can buy them. That's what I like. So these are they're very pricey. But uh, I don't know. I think it makes a lot of sense just to make it you know kind of long and I don't know obscure. But anyways, uh, I think the more efficient way for us would have to be to buy our sell logs because I think the logs are definitely a lot pricier than the uh than the stone and the stone takes way longer to mine but i think an axe breaks faster 
So I'll have, I, I don't know. I got to come up with a really good way to do all this, man, because it's a lot of stuff. But let's see. Also, I got to add in a zero saturation to this. I got to add in something that feeds you because you have it in the center in the city, but not here. And I think it really needs it because um, I feel like it. it, it I, I don't know. I just feel like it really needs it because uh, sometimes you're running around this whole area and it's very hard to or to keep on feeding yourself and whatnot. So I don't know. Anyways, let's see how much we make off of this. So let's grab that. We got that. Let's go back down and let's sell it. Let's see how much we get. So basically, um, I have how much? Let's see, slash money. Let's see beforehand. So we got 1202. Now, if we sell all this, it is 1447. So we made about 245 bucks. So I, I'm actually not, not, not very impressed by that. So we're going to have to find. Like I said, a different way to do all this. You know what would be cool? I should actually be thinking about this is, um, let's take all this out. It's a waste of time. Oh, shoot. I'm used to modding. So let's just grab all this, this, and this. I've got that. And this, this, and this. Uh, so yeah, not very impressive way to do it, but you can if you have, you know, I guess a more efficient pickaxe and stuff. So that'll probably work for you. And also obsidian is pretty pricey, I believe. Let me check. Let's see. Each obsidian's 50 so if you get a stack of them you'll have about i think like five grand i don't know but um definitely not as efficient as i want it to be so we're gonna try um with our axe try to axe some stuff so let's go ahead and do that so see right there we got about 500 bucks off of that i believe so that's it's okay but i'm gonna go and continue trying to uh do a different way but for uh for now you guys i'm gonna end this uh, video here i saw i was kind of over the limit on stuff but anyways um i'll see you on the next one hope you enjoy like and subscribe and on the next one i'm gonna try a different strategy for selling my 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 materials and stuff seeing how i can be the most efficient at what i do so yeah okay anyways bye